GLTF Clear Coat Extension. Clear Coat is an extension that works with GLTF's core physically based rendering model. You can think of Clear Coat as similar to a protective layer, which has been applied on top of another material or surface. Light reflects from the two surfaces, some comes from the coating layer and some from the base layer below. A good example is the shiny luster of a car's paint finish, or the gleam of a well polished shoe. Like other PBR extensions, Clear Coat provides parameters corresponding to real world physical properties. The first parameter is called Clear Coat. The value for Clear Coat can be supplied using a single factor or a texture. A parameter value of zero indicates that no coating has been applied to that portion of the material, while a parameter value of one indicates the presence of the coating. Percentage values should only be used along the boundary between coated and uncoated portions of the material. Then we have Clear Coat Normal. It allows a normal map to be applied to the coating layer so that variations and details can be introduced to the coating surface. The final parameter is called Clear Coat Roughness. It can be set as roughness factor when untextured or roughness texture when a texture is needed. It indicates the roughness of the coating. It works in the same way as the roughness parameter of a base material but is applied to the new coating layer. The Clear Coat extension works with GLTF's core PBR shading model, so it's not compatible with other shading models, such as Unlit. However, it can still be used alongside other PBR parameters. For example, when an emissive material emits light from underneath the Clear Coat layer and the emitted light is affected by the coating. Let's take a look at how to set this up in Blender. I have a nice model, but I want to give it a shiny paint finish. How do I do this in Blender? Let's have a look. I'm opening up a Blender model of a toy car. This model doesn't have a clear coat effect applied to it yet. So I go to the shading tab and select the material that is the car's green paint finish. In the materials inspector, we can see that the clear coat factor is currently set to zero, which means the effect hasn't been applied to the paint material. When I give the factor a value of one, this applies the clear coat effect across the whole of the model that uses the green paint material. You can now see the gloss and reflection on the side of the car, but also it's appearing over the flame graphic on the front of the car. If I turn the factor back to zero, you can see the effect disappears from the green material. Applying the clear coat effect to the whole of a surface using a single value is what GLTF refers to as the clear coat factor. What we want to do is apply the clear coat effect to the car's paintwork, but in a way that doesn't apply to the flame graphic. How do we do this? With the material selected, I go to add, texture and choose image texture. I move the texture object to where it can be seen on the graph. Now I click open on the texture object and navigate to the saved PNG file called image clear coat. That's the image you can see here. So in this image, you can see that black corresponds to the graphics on the back top and front of the car, but white corresponds to everywhere else. And where there is black, the clear coat effect will be invisible, but where there is white, the effect will be clearly seen. To apply this, we only need to use data from one color channel. So I'm going to extract out the red channel from the texture object, choosing Add, Converter and Separate Color. Then connect the color channel on the texture object to the color channel on the separate color object. Then connect the red channel on that to the clear coat channel on the material object. Now we can see the clear coat effect on the car's paint finish, but it's not been applied to the flame on the front. Applying clear coat in a way that varies across the surface of the model according to a map is what GLTF refers to as clear coat texture. If you want to add roughness to the clear coat surface, uh, which diffuses the shininess of the effect, you can change the value of the clear coat roughness parameter. When I'm happy with how the effect looks, I can save it as a GLTF file. I go to File, Export, GLTF 2.0, Give the new GLTF file a name and click the export button. 
Now let's have a look at this GLTF file in a viewer. As this video demonstrates, GLTF's clear coat extension enables developers and designers to create effects like the glossy paint finish on a car. And it's accessible in tools such as Blender. If you want to achieve photorealism in your 3D assets, think about using the clear coat extension from the start.